Hi, my name is Satko Hadjukasanovic and I'm an artist and educator with the Vibe Arts. I'm going to demonstrate watercolor technique for you today. For the technique, uh, for the medium, what you need, you need paper, you need paints and you need brushes. Uh, in terms of the paper, uh, it depends uh, of your taste, you know, artists use different kinds of paper, hot press, uh, cold press. I like uh, paper which come in a, in a sketchbook and you can see that my sketchbook is full of the sketches done outside. Uh, another important thing is uh, uh, paints which uh, uh, come in tubes and cakes. Uh, this side which I like prefer more. This is a, a different range of the color and the place where I mix the paints. Uh, the brushes, very important if you want to get high quality work, you have to have very good, at least two brushes. I have uh, a few. This one is fantastic because it holds lots of um, uh, liquid paint, but also is pointy all the time. And some small brushes. And uh, that's all. That's uh, I'm ready to start. You can see here uh, on my paper, I already did a quick sketch uh, uh, using the graphite pencil HB. Um, some artists just go with the brush, but I like um, just to have traces to get a strong construction uh, to start. Even like uh, John Singer Sargent, one of the best watercolor artists, uh, you can see in his work uh, the pencil drawing under the paint. I, uh, my subject today is a self-portrait as clown. Uh, I use the photo as source for my work um, and I will do mostly in, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, purple tones. Uh, what is important uh, and uh, rules, which I only two simple rules uh, uh, to the uh, students is uh, paint uh, light as possible and work uh, wet on dry. That means avoid uh, area which are already wet because you don't want uh, to lose control when the paint start to uh, bleed. Uh, see, I will start almost as like tonal exercise uh, uh, and you work from the from the light to the dark uh, that means uh, uh, you built uh, all your painting with the small strokes of the paint from the lightest and adding and going uh, more darker and more darker you see that's uh, because of that you have beautiful contrast uh, between uh, tones and uh, that approach uh, produce uh, uh, effect of uh, 3D. Uh, like, also what is interesting, you know, like if you have experience with oil, uh, it's completely different technique because uh, with oil you, man you mix paint on palette and uh, uh, as well uh, you can mix your paint directly on the surface of the brush on a, uh, uh, with the brush on surface, but with watercolor, actually you don't work uh, much on the paper. You just apply your uh, patches and uh, when it's uh, uh, dry, you go again. Uh, that approach produces effect that you have lots of small, um, uh, lots of small patches, uh, like strokes, and portrait become very live. It doesn't look like sculpture, and it has effect that any moment the, the person uh, like can move uh, from your work and uh, uh, be live. Um, you see, I'm very careful with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, how dark I go. I really uh, go very. Uh, light because what is important with watercolor you cannot really uh, correct it's not for for technical technique you cannot correct if you make a, a mistake the 
it's, it's coming, emerging uh, from a, a surface of the paper. And uh, if you're enjoying uh, seeing this, um, I will uh, suggest you to uh, donate uh, anything what you can and support Bybarts because this is an organization which offer great education and instruction to the communities around uh, uh, Toronto. Now, because it's uh, only uh, protons, I will add a little just hint of the flash, just that doesn't be too much uh, green, too much dark. You see, uh, I'm using the glazing. It's a, a nice technique that um, you uh, go and overlapping uh, paint. Uh, just even a little touch of the brown, nicely going with the colors and probably you notice that I uh, add green down and tell you why on the bottom because it's a nice complementary tone uh, to uh, purple uh, face a little more and uh, I need to add a little more contrast just sometimes very delicate work uh, what you have to be always careful and aware is that uh, uh, even that you like how paint nicely uh, play on the surface but uh, all the time you really have to control uh, likeness. Okay, uh, I am almost uh, done. Um, I like to say in the end of, uh, to thank you for watching this. I have to put, you have to check this, the last touch of the, uh, which makes my portrait as clown. Um, again, to remind you, uh, if you're enjoying this, try to donate to Vibe Arts uh, and support this great institution. Thank you again.